Okay, everybody. Welcome to the indoor garden. So here, first off, is the aquaponics system. I can give you an overall view of everything. Over here I have the hydroponic seed starter and cutting starter. Then I have my indoor greenhouse that I built. <coughs> so for the aquaponics, what I have is basically a Pepsi can cooler. I think it holds relatively 10 gallons. Clear plastic lid, insulated, hold temperature well. And this is where the fish live. Let's see if we can find any of them. Yeah, there's a couple of them down in there. There's a little white one. I've got six two inch comets. They're just the cheap feeder fish. Apparently you're not supposed to use them because they're disease ridden, but this is our first attempt, so oh well. Okay, so what we have is the water being pumped out via this tube here, which goes into my solids filter. It's just a large funnel. It's got a fine mesh screen at the very bottom, a layer of hydrogen, and then the rest of it is filled up with perlite. So the water comes down, trickles in, then I have a series of holes and open ends so all the large solids can drain in easily enough. It can be rotated. and then filters through into what I call the clean tank. Clean tank has two overflows here so the water being pumped in from the fish tank at a little faster rate than it pumps through the system so if it overflows clean water flows back into the fish tank as opposed to water heavy with fish waste flowing into the clean tank. So then from the clean tank, the water is pumped out on a timer into both of the grow beds. Now they both have faucets on them to adjust the water pressure that gets pumped into the tanks. The one at the shorter distance is more closed off to give more pressure to the one at the further distance. And these are set to go off for 30 seconds every minute. So it's not a constant run, it's just enough to kind of balance out the water being pumped in from the fish tank to the clean tank and then through the whole system to keep both tanks in equilibrium. Both of the grow beds were old ice sculpture trays actually. They have three deep channels. The whole thing in total is maybe eight, ten inches deep. The lights feeding these are 125 watt, 6,500 Kelvin CFL bulbs. Both of the lighting systems I've built myself, relatively cheap. I think the bulbs are obviously the most expensive part. And then I have a series of three tubes that lead into each grow bed that correspond with each of the three channels basically. So the water it pumps out through small pinholes that I drilled.
everything in this grow bed here well not everything all of all of the more mature plants that you're seeing the beets up here the dill there's a couple of broccoli this right here is actually a cutting from my orange tree rosemary thyme another broccoli And here is my avocado that I started from a pit. Actually, my fiance started from a pit. It was growing quite well. These are all transplants. And then the seedlings that you see starting down here. This is a little Swiss shard. Not focusing very well. Anyway, here's some radishes starting over here these were all just broadcast into the bed just kind of spread around and I mixed the the growing medium medium up the growing medium is a mix of hydrogen and um, just a natural volcanic rock uh, it's got more of a natural shape to it just kind of nice because it doesn't roll around there's a little variation In this grow bed over here, I've got a plastic dome on top because I am germinating seeds right now in rock wool cubes. You can see a small snow pea starting to come through. But they're all labeled. They've been germinating for about four or five days now. So the water gets pumped through and then there is a small drain at the bottom of each one of these grow beds. They both drain into the same pipe and then back down into the fish tank. Which you can see pretty much constantly runs gives aeration, fresh water, fish seem happy, although it's only day nine, the ammonia levels are pretty high right now, probably a lot higher than you'd want them, but the system needs to cycle through, just now starting to pick up decent levels of nitrites, so hopefully it's not too long before our nitrates start. And that is the aquaponics. And then here is my little hydroponics seed starter. It's basically a small container on top of a 18 gallon Rubbermaid tub where my nutrients are kept. Uh, on top of the container I've got a lid in which I cut a hole in the side and I have mounted a small computer fan to kind of blow some air and harden off my seedlings give some fresh air circulating it's got a clear plastic top so the whole thing holds humidity very well and then the top just kind of slides right off And then it is just a drip irrigation system. Kind of pumps up from this tube via an air pump. And then they kind of spiral down through all of these little drip hoses that I have small pinholes in. Uh, I've got a bunch of seedlings starting in here. All kinds of stuff, broccoli, lettuce, um, some more Swiss chard and then I've got a couple of cuttings from some herbs that I took before it got too cold outside got some mint here and some different basils a little opal basil and just a regular basil I've also got a little yellow sticky trap in here because something I brought in was not cleaned off very well 
thus infesting my system with hundreds of these very small little bugs. Well, they seem to be attracted to the yellow sticky paper and are slowly working their way out of my system. Put this lid back on real fast. This is powered by four 15 watt T8 uh, light bulbs. They're Verilux, they're full spectrum. They're about a 94 CRI, uh, relatively 900 lumens per bulb. And now, onto my soil grow. This is a little greenhouse I put together over the summer. Inside the greenhouse, I'm feeding my plants with light. I have a 100 watt metal halide double ended light bulb and a recent addition in the back corner there giving off the orange light is an 85 watt compact fluorescent 2700 Kelvin for flowering because inside I have my citrus plants which have both fruit on them now thanks to the metal halide light, new growth. And I'll give a little side view over here. See if I can zoom in on some of those. And as you can barely see, those little ball shaped things are flowers. That's the need for the flowering light. I have got a 5 inch computer fan that runs on intervals with the other three fans. Got just a small oscillating fan and then of course the one on the side of my hydroponics that are set to go off every other hour. So the greenhouse in here keeps the humidity, well, here's my little gauge, relatively high. It's at about 56 right now. It gives me a high low. It says the high has been 79. The low is about 53. Here's some lemongrass that I've recently brought inside. Cut and give it a good haircut. Here's my orange tree. And back here, I've got a Meyer lemon. Lemon's almost ready to go. I've got a seedless lime tree. Here's a little lemon that I started from a seed. Looks like it has some sort of deficiency. The leaves are rather yellow, but we're working on that. Pineapple that I grew from the top. And here is my vanilla bean orchid. It is about, I've had it for about six months now. Started at about a two inch cutting. It's now grown to about a foot. Doing very well. Little aloe. And that is the tour of the indoor garden so far. Today, actually, I've gone out to my compost bin and found a couple of these guys. So, I'm going to begin working on some vermiponics, introducing worms into my system. They're actually going to be living in here 